Number 17. Why is a salt bridge necessary in galvanic cells like the one in figure 17.3? And that's exactly what I brought up here. So here is a little picture of what 17.3 is discussing. In here, we have a one molarity solution of copper two nitrate, so CuNO32. And as you can see here, we got the coppers coming in with the nitrate. So together, together these would make the Cu NO3 2 solution. And then on the other side, we have one molarity solution of silver nitrate, AgNO3. And if I plug these two ions together, that gives us the AgNO3. But now the question is, why do I need this tubing? Basically, that's what it, it is. It's a, it's a tube. That's called the salt bridge. Why do we need a salt bridge in galvanic cells? Just know that galvanic cells are spontaneous, spontaneous reactions. So they will run without any extra additional amount of energy. So no additional heat energy. You don't have to raise the temperature. It's just going to flow. But it's only going to flow if we add that salt bridge. Now, the reason being is that if I remove this salt bridge, these solutions are not going to be communicating with each other. There's not going to be any flow of electrons. So in this case, do you see how with these salt bridges, and in this case, the salt bridge consists of Na and NO3. It's the NO3 that is basically used to go down into this part, the left part, the anode section, and this part going into the cathode. So without the salt bridge, the two solutions would be completely separate and they wouldn't be communicating with each other. Also, the salt bridge is necessary because we need to have that flow of charge. So necessary because flow of charge. So I'll just say electrons need to flow. Uh, from anode to cathode, and it wouldn't be able to do that unless we had that tubing. Also, this is getting into physics land, but when electrons are starting to flow, you're producing a current, right? And this is going to cause electricity to happen. So without the salt bridge, basically, so I'll say without the salt bridge, or actually we'll say also necessary to uh, run the current to produce whatever electrical current or in the circuit is happening. The salt bridge is necessary to run the circuit and to bridge, literally, it's called a salt bridge. So it's putting together the two solutions. Without the salt bridge, these solutions would not be communicating with each other, and you would not be able to get any current. The electrons are not going to be able to flow, and that's basically it. That's all I got for you. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope to be talking to you in future lessons. Happy studying. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.